The issue has been debated for years, but finally Buffalo has picked a new location for a train station. Yep, the committee voted today to build one near the current station on Exchange Street. But as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley tells us, this decision does not come without protest and a major political battle. This is an election year. Which side are you on, Mayor Brown? You know, which side are you on? The decision to locate a new train station in downtown Buffalo is over, but the political implications it could have for this year's race for Buffalo mayor are just beginning because those who were advocating for the central terminal are furious. This was rigged. The fix was in. City Comptroller Mark Schroeder is running for mayor of Buffalo and said if he wins the September Democratic primary against Byron Brown, he will take steps to have the train station move to the central terminal. And we want to put life in it. That's what the people of Buffalo want. Even before the committee vote, protesters supporting the central terminal voiced their opinions that the process was rigged and police were called in to move them and Erie County Legislator Betty Jean Grant from 95 Perry Street. Mayor, you have failed us as a city of Buffalo resident. You have failed this community, you have failed the city, and you have failed the east side. After the meeting, there was more anger as committee members left. Did you vote for your own special interests of the people of Buffalo. Congressman Brian Higgins and State Senator Tim Kennedy voted for the Central Terminal and they felt the city lost a unique opportunity. This process just required a little imagination. This process required uh, a little vision and this process required a little guts and those three things were missing from this process. The Brown administration argues the process was fair and there was no predetermined outcome. So at the end of the day in making a recommendation to the governor, we had to look at the facts, we had to look at the in, uh, engineering research, and we had to look at sound information to make a recommendation. Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.